You know, I know lots of times I see artists have really great underdrawings, you know, pencil work, and then they lose a little bit in the painting, you know, because um, they've gone into the painting a little too 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 heavy-handed, uh, too opaquely, and you know, keep some of that translucency, make you know, keep some of that transparency in there, so you can see um, underneath uh, the form and into the line work sometimes. There's something magical that happens um, when you start adding highlights to something. Um, you know, knowing how to do that uh, can be very, very powerful uh, in 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 the production field, uh, in the in the visual production field. It's just being able to distinguish materials is really important. Uh, whether you're working on video games or illustration or film. Uh, extremely important um, because that will be you know once once you show that in your image um, a 3d modeler or um, uh, you know a practical model or whatever any, anyone working on on uh, a model of your your creation you know will be able to see those materials for what they are you know and um, the more information, the better for them, and and the better for you as well, because your your creation kind of like will make that transition into 3D. Um, so it's it's really important. I also like to use the lasso tool and the resize tool to uh, uh, scale up things, and and then I use the move tool as well to uh, to fix the drawing sometimes. So um, it's, it you know in Photoshop that's really powerful.